Hello again, and welcome to week two of year two of the Religious Education Initiative. This is day one. We're reading from Ecclesiastes this week. So, Sunday School Registration is happening right now, and we will introduce the new classes to their teachers on September 26th, and classes will begin on October 3rd. For the weeks between now and then, when we will start uh, with uh, the narrative of the Lord's creation and continue with the narrative of the Lord's salvation of all of us once again, uh, but until then, we're going to read from some other texts of Scripture. For today, we'll look at the beginning of the book of Ecclesiastes, a book of wisdom written by David's son, Solomon, toward the end of his life. He is reflecting on his life and the lives of those around him and considering the value of the many things that human beings are concerned about and what they all amount to in the end. Warning, or spoilers, he doesn't think they amount to much. So, The words of the preacher, the son of David, king in Jerusalem, Vanity of vanities, says the preacher. Vanity of vanities. All is vanity. What does man gain by all the toil at which he toils under the sun? A generation goes and a generation comes, but the earth remains forever. The sun rises and the sun goes down and hastens to the place where it rises. The wind blows to the south and goes round to the north. Round and round goes the wind and on its circuits the wind returns. All streams run to the sea but the sea is not full. To the place where the streams flow, there they flow again. All things are full of weariness. A man cannot utter it. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor the ear filled with hearing. What has been is what will be, and what has been done is what will be done, and there is nothing new under the sun. Is there a thing of which it is said, See, this is new. It has been already in the ages before us, there is no remembrance of former things, nor will there be any remembrance of later things yet to happen among those who come after. I, the preacher, have been king over Israel in Jerusalem, and I applied my mind to seek and to search out by wisdom all that is done under heaven. It is an unhappy business that God has given to the sons of men to be busy with. I have seen everything that is done under the sun, and behold, all is vanity and a striving after wind. What is crooked cannot be made straight, and what is lacking cannot be numbered. I said to myself, I have acquired great wisdom, surpassing all who were over Jerusalem before me, and my mind has had great experience of wisdom and knowledge, and I applied my mind to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. I perceive that this also is but a striving after wind, for in much wisdom is much vexation. And he who increases knowledge increases sorrow. So, happy guy, Solomon, yes? And we would think he should be happy because there was never a time when the kingdom of Israel had more power or more wealth or more honor and respect from the nations that surrounded them than during the reign of King Solomon. He was rich, he was powerful, he had everything he could possibly have wanted, and everyone around him had everything they could possibly have wanted. And he's looking and saying, okay, I've filled my eyes, I've filled my belly, I've satisfied every desire, and all that happens is I'm still hungry. I still want more. It never makes me happy. Everything I do is vanity. Everything I do just has to be done again. And he looks around the world and he sees the same pattern in everything. Nobody ever accomplishes anything. Nobody ever finishes anything. It always has to be done again. And he even says, I didn't get any comfort in knowing more. I, div I gained so much knowledge. I gained so much power. And it, it gave me no satisfaction. It gave me no peace. Now, what, Saint, uh, what, what, what Solomon has to say here uh, whether he is a saint of the church or not is actually a question. Um, but what Solomon has to say here is an observation that any of us should be able to uh, confirm ourselves. We can confirm that eating cookies does not make us want cookies less. Eating ice cream does not actually fulfill or satisfy our desire for ice cream. Watching television does not make us want to watch less television. It doesn't make us satisfied. 
These things just keep going. They don't stop. There is no point at the end to it, except for consuming more and more and more. What we can conclude, what we need to conclude, is that all the ways that the world will tell us we will be fulfilled. If you watch advertising, it tells you, do what, you know, buy our thing, eat our thing, do our thing, and it will make you happy. It's always a lie. We need to remember and understand it is always a lie. This is what Solomon is saying. If there is something that lasts, that fulfills our desires, that will make us happy, it is not any of these things that we eat or consume or enjoy. It's something else. What that is, we'll wait and see later in the week. For now, God bless you all. I pray that your days may not be filled with vanity, and I'll see you again on day two. God bless you.